In 2018, veganism was the country's fastest growing food trend. The market is now worth over 300 million pounds. These days, sales are booming, but company founder Sir Malcolm Walker has been trying to cash in on it for years, with varying success. Now, years ago, we'd just have one Linda McCartney cabinet with um, vegetarian food, and it didn't sell, but it was our token cabinet, and we had it for years and years and years, and it never sold. In the last 12 months, this has exploded, and uh, we've now, this is a, a phenomena but I can never understand, if you're vegetarian or vegan, why you want a pretend beef burger or a pretend sausage. Of course, Sir Malcolm knows you don't have to understand it, you just need to sell it. And there's one product in particular Sir Malcolm's son and company MD Richard would love to have a go at. Great relationship that we have with Greg's. There is some development coming in January, though, which is a bit of a secret. I want the vegan Greg's. sausage roll in here. It's taking forever. Yeah, so uh, that's something we're Go working on, give me really a date. hard. Give me a date. When are we going to get well, it? We're trying to get it in there in the new year. Greg's vegan sausage roll was a surprise runaway hit, so popular that the bakery giant's profits soared to above £1 billion for the first time ever. It's now one of their best sellers. Selling for just a quid, it flew off the shelves so quickly, Greg's couldn't make enough quick enough. So while Richard waits to bag the market leader, the supermarket is getting in on the action with their own meat-free roll. And it falls to the head of supermarkets free from range, Kate Joyce, to deliver one. The movement's mainly coming from younger, middle-class students um, who are really shouting about the environment and the um, importance of eating vegan. Retailers getting in on the trend to it. I think it's gonna be here to stay. With meat-free sales worth three quarters of a billion quid in 2018 in the UK alone, it certainly is. Kate is meeting manager Andy to find out how production is going. And what does the purple mean? The purple is vegan with an allergen, which right. is the soya. Yeah. It's taken months to develop the vegan sausage meat. So this is the area where we mix the vegan roll mix. Every roll starts here, in this vat. Soy protein, sage and onion stuffing, and, um, a pinch of secret spices are blended. Jeez. <laughs> so spicy. The dry mix is moistened with mushroom stock, water, and a bucket load of oil. We're giving it a final mix for five minutes. The mixing step is crucial in getting a pork sausage texture without the pig. What we're doing now is we're, we're looking at the uh, pastry mixing. The dough is made with margarine, which is, of course, vegan, flour and water. Here, the magic starts. A continuous band of dough is extruded by the cleverly named dough band former. Topped with a stream of margarine and folded into a laminated dough band. Effectively, what we've got is a dough fat dough sandwich. Yeah. We're going to then size reduce it, which will then bring it down to a much smaller sheet. Oh, you can see it coming out. Now what we're actually doing, we're going to start folding that, so we're going to start multiplying the numbers of layers of dough. This is where pastry becomes puff pastry as it's folded again and again to create 96 layers. Then flattened by a whirling head of rolling pins, the dough is brought down to size. When the dough is cooked, the layers of margarine will melt away, leaving water, which will become steam, inflating thousands of tiny pockets in the pastry, making it puff. Every day, 24 tonnes of meat, free meat, passes along this line. In terms of the glazing of the product, where people would egg. use egg or milk, what we have is we have a vegan glaze which is based on wheat protein. Yeah. One last fold, and for the 33p pork-free sausage roll, it's time to shine. 
Every minute, these machines make 166 rolls before being frozen. This area is absolutely brand new. The growth of vegan and also vegetarian products meant we had to put more machinery in. There's tweaks to do to it and constantly changing. I think vegan's going to be a journey that no one really knows what the, the, the end's going to be. The supermarket now stocks more fresh produce than ever before. But selling fruit and veg package-free didn't work in a recent trial. Sales dropped by 20%. Undaunted, Richard is hoping to use another solution he's found for bananas. And East London is where he's hoping it may fly. What we'll see here is the challenge on bananas straight away. The plastic bag has been replaced by a paper band and new style shelves in store to show them off. So our second attempt now yes, on plastic Yes, this is stage two. And the big step forward here from the first trial is this is us moving to the hammock style yeah. um, fixture unit. So you'll see the curve of the hammock yeah. and how that works, and that plays to the natural curve of the bananas. So the bananas is, kind of sit up yeah. and are presented well, whereas before, flat shelf, they were rolling around, yeah, and they it, were getting it just damaged. became a, uh, a jumble seal. One of the biggest bits of feedback I get, yeah. uh, or abuse on social media, is why on earth do you need to package a banana? Yeah. You know, everyone is saying that obviously naturally they have their own packaging. Yeah. Is it 10 million plastic bags a year yeah. that used to cover the yeah. bunches of bananas? So there is something in this solution. We've just got to merchandise it in the right way. But great, I think it's a big step forward. Rich has also decided to trial paper bags instead of plastic ones even offering two types, but neither are free. It's a business after all. And that costs us 16.2p. Uh, so that's the that, thing people think, we're that, profiteering, but we that, don't make any. Basically, we're not making any money on that, gross margin-wise, and we're losing yeah. a penny and a yeah. bit on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the boss wants to see just how strong the bags are. That's amazing. That's, that is really good, isn't it, for a paper isn't bag? Yeah. You know, it's so important to see the reality on the ground, because we sit up in head office and, you know, we, we kind of think we have a good idea and think we have uh, dreamt up a, a good way of it working, but then operationally in store is so important to actually see the reality. So, in the real world... Can I, can I ask you what, what you think to these uh, paper bags? Have you tried them yet? No. This Are is they a... free? No, afraid not. We're trying to go all paper. But I don't know about when it's raining. When it's no, raining... They're, they're water tested, so they've got a coating on. No. Excuse me, can I... No, no. <laughs> this is the, the smaller one for 10p, and it's not as strong. But then this one can take loads of weight. We've just... Uh, but this is 15p. We think it's uh, maybe confusing offering two different choices. Maybe we just should... Give this one. Yeah. There you go. Thank you very much Happy for shopping. Your help. Yeah. <laughs> Thank cheers. you. Bye. Keep using it and reusing it, and yeah, let us know what you think. I don't think they'll be able to be reused much. Well, uh, let's yeah. see. I mean, there should there should there should be multiple uses out of it. Yeah. yeah. Work it. Uh, well, we work for the company. Yeah. Oh, Can I help? I don't know if it's on this. Can I ask you what you think to these? The dry grated cheese. Dry. Yeah. I'll get someone to help you. Oh. Just wait there a minute. Yeah. Do you know where the dry parmesan cheese is? For this customer here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just over there. <laughs> That's the 10p one, so this is the thicker one. Oh, look! This Let's is try it. Come on, try it. Look! Wow! Yeah, this is yeah, very good. Let's try with this one. Oh, this try with this one. Drop it in there. Drop it in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that this is the better one. Wow. We, you can have Very this. Smart. We won't charge you. See, see how, see how you like it. One small step at a time, eh, Richard? It probably hasn't been what Richard had hoped for, but back at Company HQ in Deeside, at least there is some good news. So, massive news today. Tesco have just announced that they're going to remove one billion pieces of plastic from their own brand products. For the biggest player in the market to make this massive pledge today, that's going to make our journey a lot easier going forward. Pretty happy about it um, because change is starting to happen and, and you can see the shift in the marketplace, finally. So it'll help our Too Cool for Plastic journey as well. Yes, we've got to deliver better, healthier uh, solutions for our customers and for the planet, but we've got to do it in a way 
that keeps the business on track and keeps the business successful.